To my 10 year old self, no place could have been better home than Seoul, which is regarded as a global innovation hub and also an economic powerhouse with a technological edge. Amusement parks, various arcades, movie theaters, and karaoke's were just a few minutes away from my house. During holidays, we visited hotels, played video games with free public Wi-Fi, and slept in a nice comfortable bed with an abundance of snacks. My life was full of technology and gaming. However, while I was enjoying all the great entertainment that were offered in Seoul, my health suffered. My eyes were getting red and swollen due to countless hours of watching YouTube and playing video games. Additionally, vast innovation in Seoul polluted air and fine dust particles were everywhere. I soon became allergic to it and I had to travel by the subway for two hours every day for the treatment. It came to a point where I almost needed surgery. Even with my mom's earnest request to stop playing video games and play sports, I was already addicted to high technology. Then once, unlike any other vacation, my family visited Jeju. And Jeju, which is a small island right beneath the main South Korea peninsula, is a volcanic island just like Hawaii. When I first arrived at the Jeju airport, I knew I was going to hate this island. Um, there was no free public Wi-Fi. And moreover, when I looked outside the car window, all I could see were just trees and fields. Something was definitely wrong, but my mother seemed to be really excited. Once again, I was assured that Jeju is not a good place for me. The next day, my mom asked me if I wanted to go to the amusement park. On the way to the park, I took a nap in the car, doubting nothing, but when I woke up, instead of an exciting amusement park, I saw huge buildings with school logos on giant rugby fields. We passed through the big school gate and I took an entrance test for five hours and had an interview. I realized that I was tricked by my mother and I wanted this first trip to Jeju to be my last. But guess what? Two weeks later, I found myself in NLCS, a British boarding school in Jeju Island. Moving to Jeju at first, I felt as if my life were over. Because I had no Wi-Fi to play video games, and Jeju didn't have amusement parks, various arcades, movie theaters, as well as Jackie's favorite karaoke's. But adapting to a new school, moving into a new area, and meeting new neighbors helped me to forget about all the fun facilities quickly. I spent my time outside, playing with my friends and families, visiting many beautiful places. After a few years, few years in Jeju, I was fully adjusted to my new life, and I started to discover and notice something I could have never had in Seoul. Um, in Seoul, all I noticed was colorful lights, skyscrapers, and loud noises, um, but here in Jeju, trees, stars, and flowers were more visible. Naturally, I spent my time away from technology and more with the outside environment. On weekends, I visited Hala Mountain, or Jeju Olive Trail covered with flowers and seashores right next to it. Other times, I went to Manjungle Caves or even Chunjin Waterfall, which are all fascinating. Um, at all places, the cold breeze from the seaside felt better than the AC, and the blue sky was much more beautiful than the neon around signs and lights that lined the Garioki or Bowling Airlines Seoul. Spending my time outside and being active became my main habit, and this was the main factor for attending Eagle Brook. I remember the very first time touring Eagle Brook. I was in the middle of the forest with ski hills, the pond in the center of the campus, with Olympic-sized fields all over. I had never seen a school so harmonized with nature, yet equipped with state-of-art facilities. I still can recall charming memories of watching sunsets right after dinner and running to the infirmary field to take photos with my friends, risking losing my phone for a week. Or walking back to the dorm right after the basketball practice at 7 a.m. with chilly wind cooling down my sweat, and, watch, um, and hearing nothing except the birds chirping and watching trees swaying in the breeze. All the descriptions that I learned from books were observed in reality. All this beautiful nature was, in, was hidden behind the technology, but always was present. I just didn't notice them. Or, too much innovation and technological development erased one of the most important aspects of life that I didn't acknowledge before my experience in Jeju. And as a student from the Global Innovation of Seoul, I appreciate every experience that is presented by nature in Jeju and the beautiful campus of Eagle Brook. It has been so meaningful and valuable to me. Ultimately, if you find yourself, um, if you find yourself struggling, Mother Nature will provide you with endless opportunities through the, grace of dawn, uh, through the grace of dawn and dusk, the cold breeze, the grass and trees, and the endless sky, peace will abound. All of these elements can lead to good memories, adventure, happiness, and healing, just like nature has done for me in both Jeju and Deerfield. Thank you.